Space Marines, Descent on Arcana. A short story by Graham McNeil. They fall like blazing teardrops to the skies of Arcana. Five of them in a staggered echelon formation, too regular to be natural, too fast to be falling accidentally. They'd breach the troposphere in a blaze of squalling atmospherics, trailing scads of re-entry fire in their wake. The hideous creatures swarming the embattled mountaintop outposts turn their bulbous, hairless heads to the sky. Dark eyes glittering like polished garnet reflected the tortured sky and the fiery trails. Dark eyes glittering like polished garnet reflected the tortured sky and the fiery trails. Sawing blasts of gunfire from the outpost turrets ripped through the swarm, detonating creatures from within or tearing strangely jointed limbs from their glossy carapaces. The creature's six limbed bodies were segmented and chitinous, wet with secreted mucus and utterly lethal. They hissed and bared fangs at the approaching shapes, not knowing what they were, but understanding on a deep-seated instinctual level that they were hostile. With unnatural synchrony, the swarm split in two. Half continued their assault on the outpost, clawing up its walls and gatehouse with a monstrous hunger. Enormous warriors stood against them, armored in war plates of crimson and cobalt blue, jade green and winter frost. Their shoulder guards bore a host of differing icons, each a chapter of legend. They fought with roaring chain-bladed swords and bulky firearms that spat explosive death. The rest of the swarm scattered, maneuvering with uncanny precision to meet the incoming threat with the dripping fangs and sickle-like claws. The first of the fiery teardrops broke through the low clouds with a shriek of displaced air. Re-entry burn obscured its flanks, but cobalt blue armor with the mother of pearl Ultima was visible through the flames. At the last moment before impact, howling rocket boosters fired from its underside. A cherry red eruption of chem flame vitrified the rock as it slammed down like a hammer blow of the gods. The beasts scattered at the force of impact. A second fiery pod struck the mountainside with a thunderous crack of metal on the rock. The sound was like a speeding mass hauler smashing into a cliff face. A third landed, a fourth, and then the others. Each struck the mountain like a fiery spear of light sent from the heavens. No angry god had hurled them, but they did bear angels.